A few years ago, I was doing a workshop for nurses on the topic of bullying and incivility. About halfway through, a nurse in the back of the room stood up and said, I'm the bully. Her co-workers who were sitting next to her quickly jumped to her defense. No, 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 you're not. You know, you're just a bit direct. This nurse again proclaimed, I'm telling you, I'm the bully. That's me up there. And she was referring to the list of bullying behaviors on the screen. But again, her colleagues defended her innocence until finally they both said, well, okay, you are the bully, but we've been too afraid to say anything to you. Here's the deal. Bullies can't be everyone else. So what if it's you? On this episode of Coffee and Conversations about Nurse Bullying, we're going to talk about what to do if you find out that you're the bully. Hi, I'm Dr. Renee Thompson, CEO and founder of the Healthy Workforce Institute. Welcome to Coffee and Conversations about Nurse Bullying. So I want you to think about this. If thousands of nurses are talking about bullying in their organization, we have to ask ourselves, who are the bullies? Well, we are, sort of. In my research, I've identified that nurses fall into one of three categories related to bullying. They're either a target, a witness, or they are indeed the bully. So, what category would you put yourself into? All right, if you're a target, please get some help. I mean, there are so many resources for you to learn how to protect yourself, like in the first book that I wrote, that's right here. If you're a witness, please, please speak up on behalf of a target. Because what we know is the most powerful intervention to stop the cycle of bullying is for the witness to speak up, not the target. And if you're the bully, well, if you are, you probably won't admit that, but aren't you even the least bit curious? Here are just a few questions in my survey, what if you're the bully? All right, consider this. I justify behaviors that help new nurses toughen up. I sometimes make people cry at work. You know what, I think most of my coworkers are incompetent. Other people seem scared to give me their opinion. And one of my personal favorites, I've been told that I intimidate people. You know, when asked that question about intimidation, there's usually two typical reactions. Somebody says, you know, you intimidate people. Oh my God, what am I doing that makes people feel intimidated? Because I don't want to be like that. Or you get the, oh yeah. The bottom line is this, the bullies can't be everyone else. And it's up to each one of us to turn the mirror back on ourselves to see how we may contribute to a bullying culture in some way. If you want to go through the actual assessment, if you have the courage, just go to my website healthyworkforceinstitute.com, go to the resource tab, free downloads, and click on what if you're the bully. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I mean, we post two new videos a month in our Coffee and Conversation series, so we don't want you to miss out. I want to thank you so much for watching. Until our next conversation, be kind, take care, and stay connected.